Are they marriage material? Is your person worthy of marriage? Well, let's look at this. We see the top five reasons for divorce are infidelity, lack of physical intimacy, communication, money, and addiction. So what we're looking for when we look at this for you, Leo, is is your person going to be faithful? Are they going to be passionate? Are they going to be open to emotional and physical intimacy, good communication? Are they bringing their value and money and how they treat it to the table in a positive manner? Do they have any addictions? So let's take a look, Leo. Let's look at your person. We're doing a 10 card Celtic and we will look at the bottom of the deck and we will also clarify the cards. What I would like you to do is score whether this is your reading or somebody else's reading. If you're looking at a person objectively as we go through the reading, please give them a one through five score. Um, with five being the best, okay? Like, yes, I would invest in this relationship, or three, maybe I would. One, I definitely wouldn't. So there's what we have. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have, we have the two of wands. Okay, so this person's passionate. They want adventure. We see a really fun, they like to travel. This person really likes to, with the right person, engage. Sorry about that. My phone is going nuts. So this person really likes to engage in a very positive manner. They are open to a relationship in which there's a lot of passion. You know, they want somebody who's adventurous. They want somebody who's going to be there with them, willing to travel the globe, willing to make decisions. We have a surfboard and a, a wonderful, playful, it was known in the 1960s as like a sporty van, like the cool kids. The surfers used to take their vans with the surfboards on top. So I like that. Nine of Pentacles, this person is single, ready to mingle, very successful in their own right. They bring, this is pre-Empress energy. This is a person who has managed their, their single life very, very well. They have a lot to offer. They're highly desirable. They're highly sought after. So let's see what we have here. We have the Nine of Swords. So your person in this reading is coming in with the energy of remorse, regret, probably having come out of a relationship that didn't go so well for them. So they do feel as though communication in their past relationships has been an issue, either theirs or the other person. Given the fact that your person has a nine of pentacles, I like this energy because it does show that they're very well rounded, that they know how to manifest. Let's see, in the recent past, we have the Four of Cups. So your person's energy here is the energy of feeling uh, dissatisfied, bored, emotionally unfulfilled. So we see them as a person who may struggle in close intimate relationships. Their power or their biggest thing they bring to the table may well be their financial and business success. So. We have the chariot card. I love it at the crown. This is the best place in the whole reading. Your person is very passionate. The emperor, which is a fiery energy. You know, you can see all the red. Uh, this is a person who's rushing towards you for a victory. They want to have this with you. They don't know, though, that you like, they don't, they're really unconvinced right now in terms of how you feel about them. Um, I do feel as though you may have had some sort of difficulty or falling out, Leo, but your person is very passionately committed. The chariot card is the nurturing energy of cancer and all of the passion. So this is a person who can very much nurture and wants to have a very, honey, I'm home, you know, walk in the door, give you a big hug, hug plan something for the future, plan a vacation, talk about the finances. This person has a little bit of difficulty, I think, in terms of communicating emotions. We look at the five of coins, okay. So this person has been, you know, could feel left out in the cold. You're dealing with somebody who's had some sort of recent situation, either with you or someone else in which they feel as though they haven't been valued. And since they're coming in with this energy of the nine of coins, you know, they may be going through a period of time of uh, financial turmoil. They may have had some losses in the market. They could, you know, it's possible that they could have lost a job. 
but it does look like this energy to me, it's kind of a V, really says that the two of you might be on the outs at the present time. This person wants very much to be chosen though. Sun card, there we go, passion. Sexiness, happiness, joy, somebody who loves you really deeply, very emotionally intimate, very much desirous of physical intimacy. I also love the sun card. I don't get high activity level in like straightforward communication. I do feel that this person struggles with it. Gemini energy is communication energy. So nine of swords, eight of swords. I do feel like there is a a past or an old wound or something that limits their ability to speak freely. I feel as though they're afraid they're going to say the wrong thing. They don't always feel well received. Your outcome card, justice card, I love it. Very balanced, very loyal, very faithful to the cause. So when we look at infidelity, I do not see anything that tells me that this person would be unfaithful. When we look at the physical intimacy, I love the sun card, I love the chariot card. I love the fact that this person really loves you so deeply. Communication seems to be a little bit challenging. There's some fear-based energy here in terms of how they present themselves emotionally, in terms of their money, in terms of their overall confidence, in terms of what they bring to the table. They feel very good about that, but they feel as though they haven't succeeded in the realm of communication and an intimate relationship as much as they would like to have. I see nothing here about addiction whatsoever. When we look at addiction, we're looking very much at the energy that is, you know, devil energy. So that's, that's the energy that I have here. So let's look at the bottom of the deck. Oh, lover's card, passionate. What did we say here? We're gonna put this over here, passionate. The star card, there's your communication. This person would not say anything negative. There's an old saying that my girlfriend used to share with me. This person wouldn't say the word poo if they had a mouthful of it. And that's what I get here. They really don't like rough communication. They take communication that's rough as a very personal kind of a blow to their the, who they are in their heart space. And so I see someone passion, 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 passion. I see someone who feels that you're a soulmate. They also want to heal themselves. This is after the tower comes down, we get the star card of really coming into alignment spiritually and emotionally in the relationship uh, with you so that they can bring a lot to the table, eight of coins. They're learning, this is a card of mastery, of learning more, learning how to heal things, learning how to be you know, together in a very passionate way. Let's look at the overall, yeah. See, I also have this at the bottom of the deck. I do think that they went through a breakup either with you or someone else, but it does look like, I would actually say this person has been the recipient of a cheating partner. And with it come the wounds is how, what I'm seeing here. So let's see what we have for the clarifiers. What, I really like this person for you. Leo, this is, this is a good person and here you are in your reading. I always love to see that. We have some fiery energy here that's very suitable for you. Okay, so what we get here with the Four of Cups, is it your person, Leo? Okay, here's your energy, actually. We have the Leo King, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Cups. So there may have been in this situation some sort of energy about a third party. Who would have been the third party? Ace of Swords. The truth is the Eight of Swords. Okay, so the truth of the matter is, is that it looks as though your person has been in a third party situation in which there wasn't an actual infidelity, but there was inappropriate texting. You know, th there should have been no texting. I get text, text, holding yourself back, but a third party communication. So it does look like your person has been really wounded by that. It looks as though whether that's in your relationship or just a relationship they had with someone else, it doesn't matter because what we're looking at is their fitness, the fitness test for marriage. All right, the Ace of Cups, this person really loves you. They love you, they wanna tell you, they have remorse and regret. If this is a situation for those who are watching, 
um, in which you've, you're in a relationship where there has been some sort of inappropriate communication. I really see it healing. There's a lot of love here. I see the potential for this to really bounce back. It does not appear that there was an actual infidelity. It does appear that there was sometimes, I always notice this when I talk to clients, just an aside, I will notice that men can come home and start talking about a female coworker. This female coworker may have very big designs on your significant other. And yet that significant other doesn't even see the truth of it. Like they just think, well, that's Mary at work. And, you know, she's kind of, you know, she's kind of ordinary and she's nice and she's very emotionally supportive and she's very mothering. But it's an interesting thing because what will happen is they can become very insidious in the relationship. And, uh, and that's a kind of energy that I get here, almost like somebody was insidious in the relationship and sort of undermining as best they could to try to kick the door open. It didn't happen. So that's what I get. And if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is an apology is owed in the future. That is communication, though. The fives are conflict. The fives are disappointment. But it does look like a successful conclusion to uh, communication. So investment, making an apology, doing the right thing, really balancing the wheels of justice or the, the scales here. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why, what is the self-imposed restriction? The Eight of Swords is twice. Oh, Sacred Heart. Your person feels as though you are their, you're their, you are their twin flame. You're their soulmate, their twin flame, their everything, hopes and dreams for love coming true. I would give this person a pretty darn high rating in terms of their ability to be a very good partner. Six of Swords, the ability to forgive and move on, never forget, but being very aware of what it takes to make a relationship successful. Communication, good. Page of Swords, sometimes communication is blunt, sometimes it hurts, but it is important that it exists and your person is getting better at it. Heart of Cups twice, look at that. Queen of Cups, lots of emotion, lots of love, lots of tenderness. So Leo, I think that you are really um, having a connection with somebody who's pretty, pretty, pretty good, pretty fabulous, somebody who loves very deeply, somebody who is not always comfortable with all, you know, with words, but they're very comfortable with investment and learning and the emotion and, Everything else here, you know, I don't see any reason. We all have something we need to improve. So with that, I'm going to leave it there. Please give a score below. One to five. Five being the best, one being the worst. I want you to score this whether you think it's your relationship or not. And I want to thank you so much. You guys have been lovely. Please like, subscribe. That really helps me. And comment. That helps me get the videos out to other people. So thank you so much. Sending you so much love. Bye-bye.